I don't want to make it seem like I don't think JJ Reddick can ever be a good coach in the NBA because he's obviously a good basketball mind. He obviously knows basketball, but he's never coached before. Like he's right. he's never coached in any form of anything in the NBA before. Like he's not like an assistant, nothing. Like he just went from like playing the league, doing a podcast, being on ESPN, commentating, coaching yeah. a little AAU team. And now he's about to be the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Like, I just don't think that's smart mm-hmm. for a first time head coach because honestly, the name couldn't, name, it name doesn't have to be JJ Reddick. Any, if you tell me anybody who never coached before is going to come in and coach one, the Los Angeles Lakers two the LeBron James led Los, Los Angeles, Angeles Lakers. Yeah. With title aspirations, because in reality, when you have LeBron and AD there, you're always going to be championship or bust kind of 100%. Thing. That's just not a good situation for a first-time guy to be in, let alone a first-time guy who's never even been like an assistant, mm-hmm. like anything ever. Like, if he, was, if he was to take like the Hornets job or whatever, like that when he was supposed to take that job, like, all right, who cares? this is the Hornets. Like, you can lose all you want. Like, you're honestly, you're just learning how to be a head coach at that point. Who really cares? Bro, there you have so much pressure on you in LA to like win and produce, and you're gonna get scapegoated if it doesn't work out. Like it's just too much for a first time guy. Um, and that's not even to mention the fact that bro, he's doing a podcast with LeBron. So now it's just like <laughs> it's just mad weird. Like it's right. just mad weird. Like I don't, I just, I just didn't like the situation. Put it that way. Like, could it have worked out? I hope so. Obviously, I'm, I would be rooting for him. I hope he doesn't go bad. But I can easily see a world where it it looks horrible on JJ, the organization, the like everybody. I can see where it looks horrible. So to get somebody in here, hopefully, who obviously is, has a little um better credentials, I should say, um, it would just it would it would ensure me that the Lakers are a serious franchise right now versus a team that's just trying to make headlines because the JJ Reddick hire is like. Headlines, really. Uh, uh, I said it's like a social media hire versus a guy in Dan Hurley who would be, okay, we're actually trying to, one, have a long-term solution at head coach, not just like, oh, we're going to hire somebody and hopefully it works out and probably fire him in a couple years. Like, no. Hopefully a long-term solution, someone who's coached basketball before and someone who will be more respected in, like, the NBA. Um, so it, it ensured me of that. But then again, nothing set in stone. He can very well back out, and then we're doing coach player podcasts. We're watching with Mind the Game. So I, I don't really know what to think right now. I just want to see breaking. Dan Hurley has agreed to terms. You saw, you saw what the contract was? It was like eight years. Well, I don't know if it was real, but it said like eight years, $100 million or something crazy. I did not see that. That's crazy. I don't know if it was real. I literally just seen like a couple. I don't know. So, But, yeah. So hopefully I see that pretty soon. Like breaking, he agrees to terms, and then cool. We up. Who is the last coach that you can remember that had basically no coaching experience that got a head coaching gig in the NBA? Was it Steve Nash? I believe it was Steve Nash. And that shit went terribly. <laughs> it went horrible. <laughs> oh my God, it was bad. And the same kind of situation they had KD. Right. You just kind of you have big KD. aspirations. You got to deal with big egos. Right, right. Um it's not. It's not a good spot to be in. Nah, bro. Even if you are a great basketball mind like Steve Nash or J.J. Redick, I think it's very clear nobody's disputing J.J.'s basketball IQ or even his ability to coach. Like, I think from the bits and pieces that you see behind the curtain of him getting to talk X's and O's on his podcast with LeBron or even on his own podcast when he you know brings on and interviews guests or talks with guys like Tim Legler, like, he very, very is clearly, to use his own words, a basketball sicko, um, but is a guy who really appreciates the X's and O's and understands basketball at the highest of levels. But that's not the only requirement to being a head coach. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some people would genuinely argue that being a head coach is just as, and at times, more importantly, understanding how to be a people manager than being Mm -hmm. a X's and O's guy. And that's why you, as some, some coaches who have seen great success, get that moniker of being a player's coach and just understand how to be a leader of men and can 
galvanize a locker room, can control egos, can, you know, squash out any type of, you know, fighting or anything that's going on. Like, that's a very critical part of the role, too. And to your point, she's she just never done that at, at any level above to what we know. Like, you, I don't know if it was AAU. I know he coaches his son's teams. I'm pretty sure his sons are, like, eight or nine. They're, like, ten years old. Bro. Right. It's just, like, that's a drastic difference. Like not having any type of not even high school level coaching experience. Um, so I completely agree with you. I think that it would I, I would like it a lot better if he went and took a job with a team that didn't have as much pressure because Darvinham made the Western Conference finals and then got eliminated by that same team in the next year. Both of those series were like Yes, one was a four-game series, one was a five-game series, but they were both, both close series. Immediately got the rug pulled out from under him. Frank Vogel won a championship that, with yeah. the Lakers and had a down year, rug pulled out from under him. That type of leash is just not – it doesn't work in L.A. It doesn't work. So I, it just feels like what could be a period for him to get acclimated and develop. You don't, you don't get that time there, bro. Because like you said, it's a LeBron winner now, like winner bust mode with LeBron anyway, especially winner bust because LeBron don't have a ton of time left playing professional basketball. He's mm -hmm. going to be 40 next year. 